Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's time to go find some of that treasure. Okay, so starting off just a short clip, I did go to one garage sale on Friday. I actually went to two garage sales. One was a fundraiser. I wanted to help them out, but it was just everything was high priced. It was the same story as last year. So that one, I don't think we need to worry about going back to a year down the road. The other one we went to, I had high hopes. I got cash out. There was Harley stuff. Take a look. Hi there. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Got a sale going, huh? Oh, yeah. Just go out and look around. You said something right hand off. Sounds like a plan. You just clearing out space or? Yeah, I just, well, I'm through riding, so I'm getting rid of all oh, okay. the Harley stuff. Yeah. So, uh, just to help yourself, look around. Squeeze by here. Yeah, right you're quick. good. Let me run this up. Truck. All okay. right. Okay. You must have ridden for a long time. Yeah, I, I rode for, well, I started when I was 17, not 75. I don't believe that. <laughs> I've been riding for a lot of years. What happened? I went to I went to the army and then I was eighteen. Well, I had a little moped scooter before that. I went to the army when I was seventeen. And uh, in France and they had this old army bike over there that used to be a messenger bike. Okay. And that so got I you restored it. It was a Harley. We restored it and and uh I rode it for three years, and then when I left, of course, I had to leave it with the unit. The sure. Yeah. But that got you hooked. That got me hooked. I've been riding since. And, and uh, a couple of months ago, I just sold my trike and decided that's it. 75, I can't see, can't hear. Diabetic. Arthritis. I just sure. Miserable. So, let's Cool stuff. Well, if you see something, just make a note. I'll tell you about it when I get home. Then when you get home. Yeah, we're going to go to the bottom of the hill. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go to the bottom of the hill. So, some cool stuff there. Really sweet Harley stuff. Unfortunately, he is still emotionally attached, and I can't pay for his emotional attachment. It's too expensive at that point. So that was our Friday, not much happening, but uh, it is Saturday and we're going at this a little bit different today. Usually I sit and I plan this thing out. I've got a map, I've got addresses written down. I got all sorts of stuff ready. I didn't do that today. We're not going to a ton today and I'm being kind of picky because I've got a lot of stuff, but it's still Saturday. You still gotta go, right? But we're doing, like I said, doing it a little different. We're gonna freestyle. Let's see what we find. Okay, guys, this intersection always has garage sale signs posted. So we're gonna see what we can find. And there we go. Look at that. All right, there we go. Okay, so it looks like this one started at seven. It may have started yesterday. I don't know, but um, let's go see what we can find. Hey, buddy. Are you selling the little the little Coke box? The Coke box, or is that just yeah, to show stuff? Yeah. 
How much are you asking on that? I'll do that. For sure. I can't argue with that. Well, uh, yeah. But now I feel bad. You're going to make a mess of all your stuff you had so nicely displayed. Uh, you know, that's, what, that's what you do with the day. <laughs> you rearrange stuff as it goes. I guess right? so, right? Have you been busy? You, you know, not bad. Good. Not bad. Good. That probably would be a cool project. It was done. Healthy's good. Twenty bucks is probably fair. Garage sales in Montana. Okay, so not a lot at that sale. Unfortunately, it started a little bit earlier than what we got there. Um, it's always the worst when you hear a guy go, how much for these boots? It's even worser, I know, when you hear, ah, five bucks, killer. Um, <laughs> but you know, I found, uh, I found one nice piece there. Uh, we got that Coca-Cola crate. I don't think it's super valuable, but it's cool. And she gave it to me for a buck. So we're going to do that. And then I found an old blockbuster movie. I don't think, oh, we just passed a sign, but they told me about another one. So I'm going to go up here to this one that they told me about. And then I'm going to come back to that one. Freestyling is kind of fun. Um, I picked up an old blockbuster movie. It's The Verdict. But keep an eye out for Clamshell Blockbuster. I'll show you what that is uh, when we finish this thing up. Some of those... Seriously, guys, there are people that collect those. I think The Verdict, probably not a great title. But um, there are people that collect those, and some of them go for really good money, like $100 kind of money for an old blockbuster VHS tape. It's crazy. Real good. So that's the way to do it. It comes all pre-put together. I like I that. This one was hard. It wasn't that many pieces, but it's... They call it foil? Yeah. Man, that foil thing will drag your eyes. <laughs> I'm going like this and I'm taking off the glasses. And it's like the light hits it different and then you can't find the piece. Right. And it's like, man. That's amazing. I've never done a foil one before. Yeah, I just keep it together. I, And then just tell everybody that I did it. See, it's blue. Oh, well, there you go. So it's together. <laughs> Are you loading up? You do eBay stuff, right? Yeah. You have to, is that mostly why you come off of these? For the most part. Oh, yeah. Going, oh, who's That's a cool thing, huh? Yeah. Okay, we've been to this one before. It's been a couple weeks. Maybe they found more stuff. Let's go check it out. It's cool. It's a numbered print.
Okay, a couple of cool things at that sale. So uh, it just goes to show just because you've been to a place before doesn't mean that there's nothing there that you missed. And in a garage sale situation where they're clearing out a house, there's more stuff that they found. And there was new stuff at that sale for sure. Uh, so we picked up a couple of cool things. We'll show you when I get back, but I'm heading back to the intersection. Um, there's an intersection up here between a couple of roads just outside of town. And there was a, uh, a uh, post full of signs. So since this is freestyle day, we're gonna go see what that post says. <laughs> Like you're filming our garage sale. Yeah, well, I have, have a good stuff. I have a, a YouTube channel and film going to garage sales. Really? Yeah, finding finding treasure. Good, good. That's the way to do it, though, and it's amazing what you find. Yeah, it's fun. Never seen that, though, but that's kind of... People enjoy it. I think this is my one treasure. How much for the? Uh... Five bucks. Five bucks for that? Five bucks for that. Did you do three on it? How about four? Four, split it at four? Yep. We'll I'll do that. Okay. I think it's neat. Yeah, that is neat, huh? Now we are really out of town. We are out of pavement. Um, just following the address on uh, one of the signs on our uh, power pole. So heading out here another mile and a half or so. I, I, I probably overpaid for uh for our little doohickey there i don't know what it's worth to be honest with you i just thought it had a cool look i'm hoping it's 15 or 20 bucks and we'll, we'll make a few off of it uh, off that doorknob i've never tried to sell doorknob before we'll see we can be friends huh yeah Yeah, now we're friends, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Look at these guys. Hi, buddy. Oh, Roxanne would kill me. Could almost use that, but it won't fit right now. Okay, so I, I would have taken more video there, but there were kids running around, and I hate shooting video with uh, with little kids. It just makes me uncomfortable, so I typically don't. Otherwise, I would have got more video at that sale. I think they had a whole lot of fishing stuff earlier in the day, which is a bummer. I missed it. 
Now, a lot of that stuff was priced up. They had nice stuff and they knew it. And some of it was new with tags. And so that was priced up. Um, it's certainly fair if you're just wanting a good deal on a garage sale for reselling it. Some of it, it just really not enough margin left. Um, or, you know, not as much as I want. Now I did find a pair of new with tags, cool shorts. I've been selling some cool lately. So that was nice. Got those for 10 bucks paid up a little bit, but I think they're 30, $35 shorts. I'll show you those here in a little bit. They really tried to sell. Well, it wasn't even sell. They tried to give me their Guinea pigs. They were giving them away for free. I had two of them actually. I think Mountain Mama would not be pleased if I came home with those. Um, but we got, guys, some Jordans that I think are big money. And I didn't get them on on video because that's when the kids started zipping back and forth. And we actually paid up for a pair of shoes. But I was helping out the, uh, the older girl there. Um, that was part of it I really wanted on video because she was trying to raise money. And I asked, what are you trying to raise money for? To buy something. Well, what are you going to buy? You guys are never going to guess what she wanted to buy. I'm not going to guess it. I'll just, she wanted mom jeans. <laughs> she kind of sheepishly said mom jeans. So I bought a pair of shoes from her. Uh, she wanted 40. They had a market at 35. I paid her 30. Now that's certainly paying up, but the girl was nice and I wanted her to have mom jeans and we're going to make money off of the rest of it. So in all, we actually got a really good deal there. Montana garage sales. Okay, we're back. Let's take a look at what we picked up today. Okay, so here's your overview. All in all, we spent $82.10 today. Okay, so uh, we, we paid a little bit today. Um, these are really in no particular order here these uh just nike fly net these tend to sell for about 25 bucks plus shipping so um really very nice condition uh run through the wash a quick time and i think we'll be fine probably at least 25 bucks there um this eddie bauer bocce he said this sat in the garage and just was never used this actually came out in 2007 it's got this nice wooden case to it which Obviously need some cleanup, but um, this is a good summer game. And so I'm thinking uh, the good quality. I know these actually sell for about $10 a piece. So I could part my way out on this thing, but I think I'm going to try and sell it as a unit and just get it out because it is big. It is bulky. I might be able to get about 75 bucks out of this, something like that. I paid 20 for it. So I paid up a little bit, but it is new and it's really nice. And I mean, it's got the instructions and everything here still sealed. So um that i think is pretty good this i have no idea just an old doorknob it's got some cool patina to it um we'll see i've never tried to sell a doorknob this is like a steampunk type of thing maybe i don't know we'll see what happens with that this we got back there miller 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 that's a made in the usa puffer i don't know that it's down uh, but it's a, a really good sort of western wear usually is what they make you'll find some of their shirts are like the button-up shirts but uh, I figured take a chance on it. It's not in perfect condition. This, um, the pocket is 
pulled up just a little bit, but actually I think just a couple of stitches, my uh, my kiddo can probably fix that up really easy, even with that on there. I think that might be a uh, $40 jacket, $45 jacket, maybe, something like that. So I think that one is going to be pretty good. Um, we've got these cool Contra short. It's like a, like a Capri, basically. These are new with tags. I'm going to guess... Um, these are going to go for about 35 bucks and cool. I've been selling that lately. It sells really, really well. Those aren't going to be around long. I think that's going to make up a good chunk of our money right there, to be honest with you. Um, at the same sale that I got those, um, I got these, I, I got to do some more digging, but these are, uh, I think maybe vintage Jordans here, guys. They're admittedly in rough shape. These are in rougher shape. You can see right there, but, um, the people that collect these things, well, we just lost one. Um, people that are looking for these things, these are hard to find. And uh, really, these things are in fairly decent condition considering the age. I mean, there's obvious wear here. The back, you know, it's it's not perfect. But I think these are still pretty good value. These as well. Um, I think we've got some good value here. It could be more than I realized. So um, maybe comps up here when I look those up. At the other sale, these are those shoes I mentioned that that girl was selling. Um, we're not going to make much off of these. We ended up paying her 30 bucks for them, but uh, they're barely worn, so they're in really good condition. I do think we might be able to push $70 um, with these, with these uh, Nike React. So those, not a bad pickup, not a huge profit because of what we paid for them, but I think definitely profit there. They will move. We picked up a pair of, uh, or two pair of my short shorts these uh what are these blue asphalt um just your standard short shorts and then uh these move shoes out of the way another pair um these aren't really distressed or anything i just like the look for them and i got them each for 50 cents so figured why not we got that blockbuster video keep an eye out for these cases guys like i said um some movies with these cases sell for ridiculous amounts of money uh how about these dwight yoakam hillbilly deluxe i don't know this hat needs a little bit of work i don't know if it'll get super clean or not but uh we got a good deal on it and uh th there are some folks out there that like good old dwight yoakam uh this is made in korea so it is uh it is vintage got a cool look to it two anheuser bush hats this one i love uh, again needs a little bit of cleaning but i think we can restore that and this one so cool made in the usa vintage anheuser bush hats these are neat um this she only charged me a buck i i was shocked i said how much for the crate she said i don't know a dollar now i i don't know that these are worth a ton but i know they are collectible and it's certainly a vintage piece so i'm going to clean it up a little bit it's been sitting outside or sitting in a shed or something but i think this is a, a pretty solid piece for, for a dollar of course i mean i'm going to pick this up regardless for a dollar and then we got this guy that's just a uh a lunchbox but brand new with tags it's dickies um i don't know what we're going to get out of this i guess this is maybe a 10 or 12 dollar thing i don't know it's not worth a ton, but it does have new tags. So, you know, I like picking up new tag stuff. It's easy to list anyway. That's what we got, guys. I don't know. What do you think? How did we do 82 bucks? I think we did all right. We're going to make that back, certainly, um, between the shoes and uh, the cool shorts. That makes back everything. I think both of those will sell pretty quick. So that's our pickup for today. I appreciate you tagging along. Uh, I think we got some good stuff. I know people like garage sale videos and we're gonna try and do as many as we can. I didn't hit a ton today, but I think we got some good quality stuff. Uh, if this is the sort of thing that you like, this is the sort of thing that we do. So uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit that bell. That'll let you know when we put new stuff up. Comment down below, I love hearing what you think. If I missed something, uh, if, you, uh, if you've picked something up before that you saw, uh, if you saw something that you can let people know, don't pick that up because it doesn't sell any of that is valuable information so uh, if you watch the video read down below because people commenting on these things they know what they're talking about thanks for stopping in guys i sure appreciate it we're going to cut this thing off i got to get some of this in and processed and listed we got to make that money back